Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So, <laughs> nice to see people smiling. <laughs> as soon as I said that, everyone started smiling. That's really beautiful. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> oh, lots and lots of faces that I know. I always dream that one day we'll all be together in person, but we need a big place. Maybe in Oxford, we hire something to have a big day retreat or something like that. <laughs> a few days retreat. Great. So, is the sound okay, first of all? I'm speaking quite softly, but I do have headphones, so I'm hoping that if my voice drops, Probably won't drop any further, but if it does, you'll still be with me. Let me just check. People who I know might be a bit harder of hearing. Uh, okay, no one's raising their hand. That's good. Okay, so today I would like to offer or offer you an opportunity if you wish to take it up to practice a little bit of meta meditation. And I'll probably end up combining that with whatever, whichever direction it goes in for you. The suggestion might be to use that meta towards the breath, almost as though the breath were a little being that deserves a little bit of care, extra care. But if it works for you to stay with the meta practice uh, that we begin with, then please feel free to do that. Don't think of it as like, a progression necessarily it's just you know things are kind of come up spontaneously for me when i'm teaching the the meditation so we'll see which direction it goes in and if you know you feel that a certain part of it is where you'd like to linger for a longer period and, and stay with that or maybe because there's an obstacle or maybe because it's working for you then please feel free and um and we'll see how that goes of course, if you just want to practice in the usual way that you're used to, you don't have to follow the instructions at all. So whatever works for you. Ah, so settling. Sometimes it's nice to take a deep breath. Or a few deep breaths and just land where you are. And this can be another signal to the mind to relax. Allowing any of that stimulation, of turning on your computer, seeing everyone's lovely smiling face. Just allowing those impressions to fade. But hopefully leaving with you, you with that sense of a smile inside. Recognizing that you're in the company of friends, of friendliness. And tuning into your body, into the sensations. Coming more into the feeling part of the mind. The direct experience that tells you you're sitting here now. And gently checking through your body, whether you wish to move from the toes and check upwards or from the head to the toes. Just to notice whether you're 
body is adjusted in a way that gives it the most comfort and ease. That you're sitting loosely and yet upright, alertly. You might not be physically upright, but the mind has a sense of alertness, of presence, of being poised. And just noticing the feedback that the body gives you. Whether there are any parts of your body in need of a little more attention, maybe more adjustment. Perhaps a tight piece of clothing or a limb that's been crossed a little tightly. Checking your ankles, your knees. If you're seated on a chair, which I'm sure several of you are, check if your feet are directly under your knees or would perhaps be a little more comfortable just slightly forward of those joints. And that your thighs are relaxed. Sometimes I notice when I'm sitting on a chair that my thighs are holding themselves in just a little bit. And when I relax, they move outwards. If you're feeling sleepy, maybe stretching your spine. Sometimes a nice way to do that is to push down through the buttocks just that little bit. That raises the knees and makes the spine just a little bit more erect. Or maybe you'd like to stroke a cat. <laughs> That's a nice thing to do. <laughs> Here I have a teddy bear. If you have your teddy bear, you might want them on your lap. Oh, <laughs> hello, teddy bear in Spain. <laughs> That's very nice. Hmm. And just bringing an inner smile into your body as though you're smiling through each, through each and every cell, infusing each part of your body with friendliness, with warmth, with a feeling of gratitude for all that your body does to support and to serve you. Once you feel grounded, embodied, present to your own body, I'd like to invite you to join some metta meditation, beginning by choosing a friend, a loved person, or even a benefactor, someone you look up to, who symbolizes wisdom, compassion, and unconditional love for you, or for all beings. Ideally, someone you know. And you feel safe with. 
In their presence, there's nothing to defend. They respect you just as you are. So see that you choose a person with whom you have a very warm and uncomplicated relationship with. Ideally not a romantic relationship, unless it's really based on a deep sense of friendship and respect. And see if you can bring them to mind, either by visualizing this person, perhaps remembering the last time or a special time that you met. and shared some special moments with. Seeing their face smiling, happy and relaxed. Or perhaps even having a sense of the presence of that person, their qualities, something about them that you really respect. And remembering how it feels to be around them. The sense of comfort, relaxation, even joy that that brings. So just imagine you're right there with this person. Perhaps looking into their eyes or giving them a hug. Or just sitting by their side and being safe and unjudged. From your heart, connecting with your deepest wish for this being, this special person in your life. And perhaps finding some phrases that capture your wishes for them. Simple phrases, but personal ones. Such as, may you be happy. Fully content. May you be peaceful. May all your suffering end. It's just an example. You might choose two to four phrases. And just gently repeat these to yourself. Keeping the presence of this person in mind, perhaps their image, their face. And saying each phrase clearly, calmly, tenderly before pausing and listening to the resonance of those words in your own heart. So the words are just like putting kindling on a fire, just to get the flame of metta going in your heart. Saying the phrases again and again and listening to that space between each phrase, trusting the mind, the heart to 
we incline in that direction. And noticing any physical sensation in response. So just as with all the meditation, we give ourselves fully without expecting anything special in return. We're not looking for a special feeling. We're just planting the seeds, lighting the kindling of the fire and trusting the Dhamma to do the rest. Giving metta a chance to arise. Keeping this person in mind, imagining them being showered by your loving kindness, relaxing more and more deeply as you also relax through this beautiful practice of sharing loving kindness, well wishing, benevolence with them. And be responsive to the practice, to your mind. So that if you find your mind wandering or finding it difficult to engage, you might want to repeat the words more frequently. To give the mind something to rest upon. Whenever you have a thought of loving kindness, you're on the path. It's not possible to have a thought of ill will at the same time. So you're planting the seeds and making good, wholesome intentions that will benefit you and give rise to fruit later on. If you find that the feelings of loving kindness or this image of your friend is arising naturally, and the mind is calming, feeling content, then you can widen the space between each phrase, enjoying the soft, gentle resonance Perhaps feelings of piti, sukha, rapture, happiness, 
in the heart area or anywhere in the body. As the words become less and less important and the feeling of metta takes over. There's no right or wrong. Staying relaxed with the practice, not forcing anything at all. Sometimes when we practice metta, we also experience the opposite, the obstacles to metta practice, irritation or frustration. And that's fine too, if that happens to you. Just relate to that with kindness. See if you can relax around it. And then start again, gently, without force. Or if your mind is not engaging, You're welcome to just relate to whatever arises with kindness and leave the words aside. If you wish to continue sending metta to this friend, the loved person, please do that. Otherwise, we're going to start including ourselves. So just as you wish your friend peace, happiness, health, contentment, whatever it is. So too, we are deserving of that. So staying connected with your body, especially the area around the heart, the chest. 
gently wish yourself well using whatever language seems appropriate right now. Imagine yourself being showered with kindness in the same way that you just extended that loving kindness to your friend. You too are someone's friend. If you find it difficult to see the goodness in your heart, remember that this friend sees it in you. you too deserve happiness you too deserve your own loving kindness no matter who you are or what you've done unconditional loving kindness with all your faults perceived faults and weaknesses loving kindness doesn't ask or demand that you change anything at all.
and be. <clears throat> Allowing yourself to be creative. If the mind is quietening, perhaps dropping down just to a few single words, such as happy, peaceful, whenever my needs a little bit of a guidance or perhaps simply imagining breathing in peace or breathing in love with the breath so that each breath becomes a gift of loving kindness With the in-breath, you're suffused with your own love, loving kindness, universal, unconditional love. And breathing out contentment or peace, whatever works for you.
Now we're coming close to the end, but not quite. Staying connected to any feelings of peace, happiness, joy, warmth in the body, maybe tingling, maybe quite subtle, but pleasant feeling. And once again, bringing this loved person to mind. Imagining you both now together and spreading this meta between both of you as though enveloping you in a golden glow. Seeing this person's face smiling or imagining their presence, the way you feel in their company. Feeling yourself smiling from within. As you share this beautiful friendship and respect. May we be happy. Fully content. May we be peaceful. May our suffering end. Whatever words, whatever sentiments, may be verbal or non-verbal, really have some meaning for you. And now allowing this metta to flow out from your body. Imagining any tingling, any pleasant sensations exuding outward. Spreading into the room where you're sitting. And to all of us seated here together, spread across the globe. Each of us glowing with metta, like little candle flames. And the warmth from those flames spreads out and connects to one another, keeping us all warm. Including everyone in this room, this virtual retreat. Our teacher, Ajahn Brahm who's right above me right now in his room. To the people looking after us here, right in front of me, perhaps invisible beings too. And to everyone, sharing any happiness, any peace, 
that we've developed, no matter how humble it may seem. When it's shared, it increases and becomes a delightful abiding for the mind. I keep imagining this metta spreading and I'm going to chant a blessing, spreading metta to all beings. Sabe sata Sabe pana Sabe buta Sabe pugala Sabe ata bawa pariapana Sabe tio Sabe purisa Sabe ariha Sabe anavia Sabe Dewa Sabe Munusa Sabe Winiparika Aweva Hontu Abya Paja Hontu Ani ga hon tu Suki atanam pari hagan tu Dukha munjan tu Yadalada sampati to Maui kachan tu Feeling the peace in your heart without judgment, no marks out of ten. And if you wish, when you're ready, with a smile, you may gently open your eyes. in the meditation. Otherwise, you can continue forever and ever and ever <laughs> for as long as you wish. And this teddy bear also says, thank you very much for your meta. I feel much better now. So, a hug from the bear. Yeah. And for those who don't have anyone to hug them, you know Ajahn Brahm's way of hugging. I can hug females. I don't know. He doesn't really hug people. Sometimes people hug him. But anyway, if you want to hug yourself and there's no one there, you just take your arms out really big and then you pull them across like that. And you hug like anything. So give it a go. It's good, really. You can even do your shoulders a little massage. <laughs> Or you can pat yourself on the head. <laughs> and it gets the endorphins going and gives you a stretch. So, very nice. I'm so happy that many of you are giving it a go. If not now, later. Lovely. And also hands on the heart. This is also very nice. Lovely. Okay. So now it's exciting, isn't it? Now. Dun, dun, dun. Now it break time so you may want to just continue sitting where you are or you may want to have a stretch before the sutta class starts at four o'clock so thank you very much and we'll see you soon please don't leave the room you can just turn off your video as usual i think you know the, the ropes by now